Guys, before we start this video, I would like to remind you guys to subscribe to my channel. I post a video every week. Hi guys, welcome back to another episode at my YouTube channel. It is uh, leading up to Christmas and I am going to do like a mini series with the Christmas recipes. Traditionally, you serve this Swedish herring in mustard sauce as a side dish. Yeah, we're going to make the vegan version today, of course. The base that we're going to use instead of the fish is some courgettes. Uh, and what we're going to start with today is to peel these. So once you're done with peeling your courgettes, don't throw away the peel, because that is great or making sandwiches, uh, or to have in your stir fry or in your salad. Let's not waste any food, guys. Keep this in your fridge and use it. So what we're going to do now is basically cut the courgettes into smaller pieces, like little square ones. And so now what we're doing is um, letting the courgette pieces simmer in the boiling water for like maybe like two minutes just so they get um, soft and a bit wobbly and sloppy like a fish piece uh, i cooked the courgettes for i think three maybe four minutes you don't want them to get too sloppy because then they will kind of dissolve in the sauce um, but you don't want them to be too like chewy either so around three minutes i would say is good i just rinsed them off and uh, i rinsed them with cold water just to stop like the cooking process and now we're going to leave uh, the courgettes to cool down so i'm going to pop them out on my balcony nice so now what we're going to do is blend together the mustard sauce and for the mustard sauce we're going to need, hold your breath, some mustard! Yay! I love mustard. Uh, and we got two different types. We got the, the John, the normal one, and then we got this um, a bit more chunky mustard, which has got, um, you can see, they're a bit thicker, the mustard seeds. And we're going to um, use 100 milliliters of each, blending that together with some sugar, some vinegar. This is apple cider vinegar, but you can use white vinegar as well. And then we're slowly going to drip in some olive oil. You can use rapeseed oil or granola oil as well. And that's going to be the base for the sauce. Now when the sauce is uh, all like creamy and gorgeous and is, is smelling fantastic, we are going to chop down some fresh dill. You can use frozen or you can use dried dill as well, but trust me, it will be a lot better if you use fresh dill. And then we are going to chop down some uh, spring onions. You can also use leek if uh, this is what you prefer or what you can find in your supermarket. Uh, and I would say, you know, the more dill and the more leek or spring onions you use, the better your Swedish herring is going to taste. You know, it's to taste basically. A little tip from me is um, do not use the whisk after you put in the dill and the spring onions because that's just not a good idea it will all get stuck into the whisk, so use a spoon instead. And so now the only thing that's left to do is to simply add our cooked courgettes into the mustard sauce. And then we got our Swedish Christmas herring. Mm. 
this guys is one way how you can eat your scandinavian mustard herring it's just simply just put it on an open sandwich with some vegan butter maybe some vegan cheese oh my god it's just so good i love it so much all the flavors are like explosion the mustard which is very spicy and all this like the sweet taste as well from all the sugar that we put in there the dill the spring onions mm, it's just so good and then you got the sloppy the sloppy courgette which is like you know the fish um tastes great on a sandwich like this it's a great addition to your christmas dinner to your christmas table in sweden you have like a buffet of things like you have you traditionally have ham swedish meatballs Prince sausages, as they are called, some potatoes, um, which you can all veganize. I put my vegan meatball recipe above here, so you can check that out. This is a great side. It's great to have on your open sandwich and your closed sandwich. Um, just great to have with some potatoes. I hope you guys are going to try this traditional Scandinavian and Swedish herring recipe. If you enjoyed this video, make sure you give it a big thumbs up and subscribe to my channel for more recipes. I post a new video every week. Until I see you again next week, have a good one, guys. Bye.